I wanted to make this video to explain why I bought a pig and what I hope to get from this experience. So the first question you have to ask yourself is, why raise a pig instead of just going to the grocery store and buying the meat when you need it? And the thing it comes down to with me is self-sufficiency and self-reliance. I want to be involved in as many steps as the food production process as I can be. I want to know everything there is uh, about raising a pig, what it takes to butcher it. I want to know everything. And that doesn't just involve pigs. That involves almost every aspect of my life. I think any time that you can become more involved in all the steps of the things that you rely on every day, the more secure you're going to be in the future if anything were to happen. And this isn't just a, a prepper warning. This is just, you know, being responsible. The next big reason I would want to raise a pig rather than just buy the meat at the grocery store is the animal living conditions. I've seen how pigs are raised in you know, farms that that's what they do is just hog farms and these pigs have no space. They're, they just are treated like garbage. They have, you know, they're not taken care of at all. They're basically just there to get as fat as they can, as quick as they can and bump them out the door and cut them up. And that's not the way that my pig's gonna be raised. She's gonna be given a humane life and she's going to be well fed and well taken care of. It's, it's just going to be a much more uh, reasonable life for an animal. And that brings me to my third point, which would be the quality of the meat. Raising your own animals, you definitely know what's involved in everything about their lives. I'm going to know every piece of food that, that, that went into the pig that you know, she's not going to be eating any kind of hormones or injected with anything that could be toxic to her or to anyone that were to eat in the future. It's going to be just a natural process. And I think it's, it's going to be much safer to eat that pig than any pig that you were to go buy at the grocery store. Now that brings me to my next topic, which is what I hope to get from this experience. First of all, the big one. I'm going to be getting a lot of meat from this. My partner and I, we're going to be splitting the pig. She's probably going to be about 300 pounds or so when it's all said and done. And about 150 of that is going to be meat, which we'll split in half. So I'll walk away with about 75 pounds of meat, that which I already touched on, is going to be very uh, safe and nutritious, hopefully. The next big thing. It's going to be manure for my garden. I was looking for a way to have really good soil and I was thinking about getting rabbits uh, because their manure is really good for gardens and since this came up so quickly, I think this will be a great opportunity to replenish my soil from the past three years of me growing on it and build everything back up and hopefully next year I'll have a better garden than I've ever had before. Now the last thing, and maybe one of the most important things, is I want to see the full process of meat production. A lot of people are blinded to the fact that their meat actually comes from an animal. I know it seems silly, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably like, I know where the meat comes from, but a lot of people think that, you know, you just go to the grocery store and you get this package of meat, and it's, it's, it caused no harm to any animals. Well, that's just not the truth. I want to raise this pig and I want to go through the full steps from, from now until the day that it, she's butchered and everything just to see what all is involved. And I don't know what this is going to come to. You know, in the future, I may see this process today and this could turn me off of meat forever. It's hard to say. I, I know I love animals and everything and this is definitely going to be something that tests me. So there, this could be something that I do once a year for meat production or it could be the first and last time that I ever do this. But it's a good experiment. It's something I'm really interested in trying and I really hope that this works out for us. So I hope this video gives you a better understanding of why I'm doing this. I'm not killing the pig to be evil. This is just a part of uh, my life goal, which is to become a homesteader and get the self-sufficient lifestyle going. And honestly, this is, I think, going to be a really good process and something that I'll definitely learn a lot from. So I thank you for watching this video, and there will be more to come.